Anyway, sure. um, the loader, uh, as I was saying, would operate the turret MG, uh, which could either be fixed in place as a coax uh, MG or released uh, to be independent of the main gun. So that was a nice little feature. So you can either be firing in, in parallel with the, the main gun or twisting it around and uh, shooting around in all, all different directions. And, and for what this tank was good at in war, which was advancing fast into the enemy's rear areas, the machine guns were probably as important as the main uh, main armament. Mm, yeah. Um, the it had a rate of fire of about 15 rounds per minute for the main gun, uh, with a gun elevation depression of minus 10 and plus 25 degrees. Uh, the hull MG was limited to 10 degrees elevation, so it wouldn't shoot the uh, main gun, uh, and could also be fired by the driver in a fixed firing position. So uh, if you're um, radio just operator turn the tank and turn the tank. <laughs> yep uh, so if you're if you if you didn't have that uh, fourth crew member in the radio operator um, you could just fix it in place and then the driver could uh, do some donuts and uh, be shooting around all over the place uh, 